Has God ever asked you to do something that seemed totally out of the realm of capabilities or skill sets that you thought you had? And so you wondered in your mind, surely God couldn't be asking me to do this because I am not able. I am not equipped for the task. That's similar to the story that we're going to be talking about in this episode of Matcha and Ministry. Hey everybody, it is your girl Coach Cheryl and welcome to Matcha and Ministry where we uncover and we dig through the Word of God and we pull out tiny tidbits, sips if you will, to help us love the Word of God but most importantly live the Word of God and we put it in a practical everyday use. And so today we are diving in the story of Judges in Israel. In particular, we're going to talk about Gideon, who sees himself as small. And when God tells him that he is a mighty man of valor, he looks at the angel of the Lord and like, who me? (laughs) Surely you could not be talking about me, God. Because mind you, when the angel of the Lord finds Gideon, He is hiding in the threshing room, treading out wheat for fear of the Midianites that have basically terrorized the children of Israel. So as he is hiding, threshing wheat, the angel of the Lord calls him a mighty man of valor. How could he be a mighty man of valor and he is hiding? Those are questions that we sometimes or often ask ourselves when God reveals to us who we are, but our outward actions don't reflect what he says. But here is what I have come to know. God knows something about us on the inside that may not have yet surfaced on the outside because he has to call it out of us and draw it out of us. So I don't know if you are like Gideon or how sometimes I have been when God has called me to do a task, feeling insufficient, feeling not worthy, feeling incapable, feeling like we lack the resources or the know-how to do it. But just like Gideon, we have to understand that it is God that will get the victory. It is God that will do the warring on our behalf because Gideon starts with an army of 32,000 that God whittles down to 300 to subdue the entire Midianite army. And how does he do it? With lanterns and horns. Y'all hear that? With lanterns and horns, the things that Gideon had. So whatever you have, know that when you surrender that to God, he will subdue an army with what seems unlikely. You may be looking at what you have in your hand and saying, God, I can't subdue armies with this. I can't fulfill your purpose or your call with this. But know that whatever you have in your hand, when God blows on it, he turns it into a mighty force that calls you victor every single time. I pray that this tidbit, this sip, of the day has been a blessing to you and if it has but you want a little more in-depth learning feel free to check out this video here where we dive a little deeper into the word every tuesday night 7 p.m right here on youtube and even on facebook whenever you're free and if you have enjoyed this video i'm going to ask you to do me a favor and go ahead and hit that like button driving this bible study further into the algorithm so that more people can love and live the word of God. And if you haven't already, I'm going to ask you to join the family. Hit that subscribe button as well so that you'll know when I drop a new video. Again, thanks so much for joining and I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Thank you so much for watching this episode of Matcha and Ministry. We hope you found it inspiring and encouraging. If you'd like to dive deeper into this topic, you can watch the entire live Bible study by clicking the link below this video. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you never miss an episode. See you next time.